Recently, I met up with James from Shack Time, who's been a very good friend of mine now for many years, and we decided to head over to the seaside town of New Brighton, just across the river from Liverpool, to play a bit of radio, have a catch up, and enjoy some sunshine. We didn't really go with a plan, but we thought we'd bring a few CB radios to play with, and did a nice small range test between two handhelds. James was using an immaculate realistic TRC-1001 from the 1980s and I was using the much more modern Midland Allen 42DS. The weather was amazing with temperatures in the high 20s so I decided to walk towards the sea from the seafront and James waited back at base. So I'm just walking down this beach now, probably, what do you say, about 100 metres away from you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That radio you're on is sounding really good as well. Probably, what, do you reckon, 200 milliwatts? Or is it, is it? Uh, they got four. They're on low power, so I probably think it's like half a watt. Nice to get back on sea, but it's just a shame there's not many people on sir. I think it's too hot to be in the shack. Far too hot on the shack today, man. Just far too hot. You see the trouble we had uh, just sat in the van uh, with the heat. You've got to be outside today. Yeah, definitely. Let's have a look through. Okay, well, 70, I'll catch you back in a minute. That was a nice little test. Yeah, speak to you soon. And you know what, James? It's not even that cold. I know it's only shallow, but it's not cold. Right, 73. 
Yeah, Lewis one last final. Um, you've still got full signal through to me. Um, what we discussed earlier was that antenna you're using being just like a dummy load. Uh, after your mate, to be honest, and how well it's coming through still. So, uh, well done for that. Yeah, it's a really good change. Like I say, you're still a, a very, very solid 5 and 7 uh, to me now, and you're a good good distance away, so it's, uh, it's brilliant. I reckon just a little bit of TLC on that realistic, and it'll uh, probably perform um, just, just as, uh, well, twice the distance again. All right, I'll catch you in a minute. I'll, uh, I'll head back. So I hope you enjoyed this short test of two completely different CB radios that were made decades apart. Both performed really well as you'd expect for a relatively short test but it was nice to use them on the air and also to catch up with James whose channel you'll find below.